looking to buy an SBE flagship in Copperleaf Golf Estate. Good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today I am joined not only by Marusha from Luxlev Property Group, but as well by Proverb, real estate enthusiast, media personality, and entertainer extraordinaire. Now, guys, you're in for a treat because this is one heck of a property with exquisite finishes. Without further ado, Marusha. Thank you very much. Well, I think you are in for a treat and I really hope you enjoy this tour. And let's get going. I look forward to it. It's always a treat. Let's go. So, awesome wide staircase. Of course, when you have guests, you want them to feel welcomed right from the front. And of course, you want them to see your beautiful entrance. But first, four garages. So think of the cars you want to put in here. So four garages, but I see also all your visitors can park as well. So that looks to me like it can take another two. That can probably take another four. Hey? And depends if um, it's uh, those little one series things. Oh, you yes. Can pack them. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. So Stunning facade. You love the look of the front of the house. I eh? do. Is it welcoming? Already from the front, actually, you get the feeling of the height of your entrance hall. So double or maybe you would say triple volume. Yeah, I would definitely say like a double and a half, but that's definitely beyond double. That is massive. It's very high, but I also love it. For front of the house, it's really welcoming. And it's a generous entrance hall. So it yeah. shows you also the rest of the house is going to be very generous in proportions and from the entrance you're also seeing all the finishes with this exquisite fireplace clad in onyx and backlit to be welcomed with an exquisite feature like this firstly it sets the tone it lets you know what kind of house what kind of property we're dealing with it lets you know how they spared nothing when it comes to expenses because how do you have something like this in the front of your home my gosh Absolutely. And not only is it absolutely gorgeous, it also heats up all these spaces. Of course. And it sets the tone for what we're going to see, the touches of yellow in the stone. We're seeing a touches of the yellow color in the chandelier, in the entrance hall. And then just a splash of yellow here and there. Nothing over the top, just to make it warm and welcoming. So this will obviously be a, a reception area, but it also doubles as like a, a guest TV room, is it? So what would you say, would you, would you do a formal lounge these days? We spoke about this before. Would you really have a formal lounge in this day and age? I feel like for as long as it doesn't take away of what the room could have done and the purpose it could have served, I think there's no harm in a formal lounge. But okay. if you sort of are, are more of an entertainer, you host a lot more, you know, um, or you have kids who want to watch more TV and the like, then you can absolutely compromise and settle for a nice TV room. But I still am old school and I think there's nothing wrong with a formal lounge. What do you All think? Right. So we're chasing the kids out of here, right? And the dogs. A absolutely. More for the guests and then they can have theirs in there. <laughs> well, in line with the formal lounge, absolutely luxurious finishes. We have a feature marble wall and suspended above it is the wood cladding and then we have the TV literally floating above the wood and the marble. Nice finish but I also think it's very clever the choice of cladding because if you look at the veins they communicate very much with that marble there as well so it still gives a, a, a consistency even though it's different textures. And it even speaks to the tinted glass here in the cabinet. It does as well. Very, very nice. Just a touch of darker against the white. So nice and soft, but um, also it gives it a 3D effect. Yeah, very effective indeed. Through to the dining room. How many seater? 10. This seems like a 10 seater. So if you have a massive family or if you've got some guests, you can definitely seat everyone comfortably and host very well. And if we run out of space here, they can, can they take the formal lounge then? Um, yeah, why not? Hey, it depends on what kind of event it is that you're hosting. If we all just chilled and relaxed, then yes, we can lounge everywhere. And what I love how they've done is they've concealed some of, uh, some of the storage under the staircase. 
So first of all, we have this display unit here that talks to the display unit for the TV across into the formal lounge. We have a touch of the wood cladding as well. And now we're bringing also an element of the tint with the rose gold tinted mirror. And the same tint goes underneath with the drawers where you can just put all your nicks and knacks. And even the floating effect, they're very sophisticated and very modern. With mood lighting underneath as well, just to bring it up and just to highlight that it's floating, right? Yeah, absolutely. It goes a long way for the sophistication element of it. And I just love those dogs. And the dogs are staying. Those aren't cheap, I must tell you. <laughs> they, I believe they're very expensive and the owner is very attached to them. But in line of leaving all the furniture and all the artwork behind, we convinced them the dogs have to stay. That is such a nice bonus. So if you're in the market for a property like this, all the extras that you see from a furniture point of view is all included, hey? Everything here is included. And imagine the peace of mind. First of all, when you buy a house that is uh, built with so much precision and it's such an architectural masterpiece, just to furnish a house like that, yeah. it will take you months and months. They've thought of everything. The interior decorator here has been amazing and everything works. So it doesn't get more turnkey than that. Nope. If it's all the finishes, all the furniture, everything that you see, yep. all yours. Absolutely. Genius. So the kitchen is a blue line kitchen. So the top of the range, the best of the best. And I love the fact that they've used different finishes for the cupboard doors throughout the kitchen. So we have some of the frosted glass effect on some of the um, doors. We have the tinted mirror, we have the wood and it's surrounding this beautiful built-in melee ovens and coffee machine. And also the fact that it's flush, it's that kind of attention to detail that really increases the value as well. It's so when nice. it was planned out and fitted, everything was to perfection. Absolutely, and I just love those uh, pendants hanging just above your countertop. And uh, just to point out, of course, a pop-up extractor. We have the gas um, stove tops here. And just also something very important, we have solar and we have a diesel generator. So between the solar in the house and everything else, you don't have to worry about load shading. And this is a very high tech house. So you definitely don't want to be going out of uh, power. So it's uh, off the grid as well, which again has become a necessity and uh, the way that we all need to go. It's an absolute must, yes. We're now in the scullery. People love seeing the sculleries these days. This one is pristine and it has so much cupboard space that uh, if you love your kitchen stuff, you will find space for it. You know, what I love is just the sophistication continues even in areas where you don't expect it. Mm -hmm. Like in a scullery, you know, yeah. to see it so neat, so well designed, so generous, so much cupboard space as well. You can tell these people really, really pay close attention to detail. Absolutely, and I mean, they thought of everything. Like these are very high cupboards, but you literally just touch it and it goes up and you don't have to try and use ladders and uh, Masai, I don't know what we've hidden underneath. Maybe it's all the chocolates. Oh, look at those ah. beautiful glasses. Absolutely magnificent. Very nice. And this is what you get with Blue Line Kitchen. They also keep coming back. Once it is, they have installed your kitchen, they make sure that all your hinges are aligned once you've packed all your heavy La Crusade pots and pans and so on. So they'll come back a year later, they'll come back two years, they come back to keep fixing your kitchen for you. You talk about after sale service, eh? It's Usually a lot of clients will sell something, forget about you. But that, I think, speaks volumes of the kind I've of brand that I've experienced a hit and run kitchen builder. So absolutely, this is something you wanna pay for. Yeah. Well, now we have stepped into a breakfast nook area. So your kiddies or for your uh, spaghetti bolognese eating you want to do the messy bits here on this natural stone countertop which is the same as the natural stone yeah. we saw in the kitchen yeah it's nice to have a breakfast nook because you don't always want to set up at the table mm -hmm. sometimes you're just grabbing something on the go this is definitely where you want to make that happen and we're seeing again the touch of the mirror a bit of the wood all earthy elements are brought in in a very modern sophisticated way now, speaking of sophistication, you see what I meant for this uh, TV area, right? There's still the choice of furniture that was used, 
the elegant fireplace, which is the floating marble over there. There's so much sophistication with just the choice of finishing, but also the choice of furniture. And again, it reminds me of the fact that even the furniture is included. Absolutely, everything is included. And even this beautiful artwork, but we're gonna see more of that. Second fireplace, and all the elements, they, they are consistent throughout each room, but because they're used in such a different way, uh, there's no repetition. Oh yes, that's true. Because you also run the risk of having a dull house if everything mm. is too the same, too repetitive. Exactly. It's just copy and paste. Exactly. So the fact that they kind of use the different textures and elements in different sequences really gives it a fresh look. Absolutely. And now we're into bedroom number one or the ground floor, the guest bedroom luxurious soft carpet that you're stepping in and immediately you feel calmness a very nice choice of wallpaper that is featuring on the one wall and you will see now the rest of the bedrooms as well all of them with different wallpaper all of them with different unique character and i also love the fact that it's relatively separate from the rest of the house so if you have guests, there can be some silence as well. You don't have to disturb them too much and they won't disturb you as well. So you give them their privacy, which is ideal. And of course, it's on suite. Same as with all the other bedrooms that we're going to see. We're just seeing the sunset now. It brings up the colors of the house magnificently. And of course, our entertainment area, right? My natural habitat. <laughs> there you go. It's a beautiful room. I love the fact that they've put another little table here just for uh, your quick breakfast maybe, just to welcome the sun and to set your day off. And then of course this would be the later hours entertainment space. Very, very nice indeed. So you can actually invite a DJ or DJ yourself, put on your favorite records and really mix up here and make for a nice, nice party, man. This is so cool. Are you seeing yourself here? I could definitely live here if you ask me, hey? Oh my gosh. I just need to know where all the drinks are. Is that like a, there's a, is that a, a bar fridge over we there? We have a bar fridge here. We yeah. have some storage here. Yeah. And I would totally put a bit of a display unit somewhere around this room. It's big enough. It can definitely house a stand somewhere to put all your yeah. top gins and wines, um, or at least the ones you haven't managed to drink yet. For sure, but I must, I must admit this though, there's something to be said about it being concealed because mm. I, don't, I think it maintains that elegance and it's not so disconnected from the house, you know what I mean? So maybe you know where they're all hidden or put away or you've got a particular place where you like to keep them. So th there's something I appreciate about it being concealed as it is. Very good point, actually. And then your guests don't know where your expensive wine Exactly, is. exactly. <laughs> all your favorite bottles you keep from everybody. And just a quick one, but we have a built-in bra area here and it's a gas, so that's really great. It's massive extractor. You can go wild there with your chops or whatever goes on bras these days. Vegan um, tofu. Vegan tofu, why not, eh? We have to cater to everybody these days. <laughs> You're right. This is the look. This is the SB Architects look. It's a signature look, the house wrapped around the entertainment spaces, the garden, the pool, and uh, even the the cladding, as you can see there, matches with the deck as well. Oh, you yeah. know, so that consistency, you know, that continuity really, really comes across. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, the, the pool, I mean, this is about eight meters in length, so you can do a couple of strokes before you have to turn around. Yeah, it's a fair pool. I love the fact that it's not too big because you, I get the feeling if you have uh, little ones here, you know, you want to have something that's that's fair, that's generous. You can still do like yeah. an odd lap or two, but uh, you know, for the kids wise, it's, it's safe as well. And just around the corner, your favorite. Oh, my favorite area. There must always be like sort of a boma nook uh, with the nice fireplace, but they still kept it sophisticated as you can see there with the marble. There you go. Yes. All the elements are coming through in every single room. Yeah. I would soften it with just some nice decorative pillows, mm. you know, yeah. um, just so that it makes for a cozy vibe, especially in winter. Yeah. You don't want to sit on the cement and we can mm. fry some marshmallows and enjoy. But they've thought also of keeping the wind out of the way. So I like the fact that they've put this glass around there. So it, it will be a very cozy spot. 
Yeah, that's a nice unique idea. I haven't seen this before because you often see bomas and then the wind is just blowing it's you away. Exactly. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Well, back into the house, just have a look at all the balustrades, also the exterior of the house. You see balconies with the same glass, modern glass look. So very, very striking architecture indeed. And I just realized the, the, the balcony actually wraps around the entire back of the house. Yes, that's actually very true. Can you see? So very you, seamless. You can reach if each room through the balcony as well. Yes. No, I like look, that. they've thought of everything. Yeah. You have those strip lights running along the floating stairs as well. And imagine you can put uh, more seating outside. I mean, this, this is just to entertain and meet your guests in. And then the parks, the golf course, is left for the estate to maintain but you still get to enjoy it because you are in the golf estate for sure but the garden is also low maintenance if you're somebody like myself who just wants to lock up and go and travel come back and yeah. nothing all your plants won't be dead or anything you know so nice low maintenance the way i like it look at this fireplace i can't stop staring Oof. at it especially now as the sun starts to dip yeah. You appreciate where all the sort of lighting and the shine comes from. It really, really makes the house elegant and it gives it, it sets the tone for the entire property. It's incredible. I've, I've seen so many houses, I've never seen one done like this. Yeah, it's definitely a, a center feature. Okay, so the guest toilet is also a very good feature to just impress your guests. Give it, but that's throughout the house because these owners are perfectionists. Yeah, it's, it's always important. People like to neglect the guest bathroom. When meanwhile, that's the one all the guests are going to use, you know. So you have to still pay attention and make it very nice and comfortable. Just let them know what the rest of the home is like. Absolutely. And they even have the feature wallpaper here, which is different from anywhere else in the house. So once again, each room unique, but each room speaks to the, the next one. Back with a bit of the wood here floating wood staircase a touch of wood also on the feature wall glass balustrades that we already saw with the balcony they brought inside the house as well and another feature wall with this uh, is a nelson Macamo original i can see so again you can tell the owner spared no expense and you said to me that it includes uh, all of the furnitures and artwork in yeah. the price so you score so much more than just a property. You also get some collectible artwork as well. Absolutely, and it's peace of mind. If you have money and you want to buy an exceptional house, but you don't know where to start to furnish it, why not buy a furnished house? We've now stepped into the main bedroom. The main suite gives me that uh, luxury suite, luxury penthouse, luxury hotel. Definitely something that's like seven or eight star. Hey? Fantastic. For sure. Now that you mentioned penthouse, the whole house gives me penthouse vibes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's almost like what a penthouse would be for a family, like an extended penthouse. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it, it's not sparing in terms of space and size. It's very uh, generous. It just keeps on giving and it just makes for a lovely, lovely home. I mean, there's this balcony that you spoke about that goes the entire length of the house. And you can, we just missed it, but the sunset was literally coming down just uh, uh, behind the horizon there. So what's important to know is that from your main suite, you get to see the sunset. That's stunning. That's always a bonus, isn't it? And just a quick one, suspended ceilings again here that are concealing your air conditioning, which we have throughout the house. We have roller blinds, we have curtains, we have full automation with lights, with sound. Everything throughout the house is automated, air conditioned, and just built for your comfort. And all the features are, of course, top of the range. Ooh, this is now stunning. So the shoes don't stay. I'm sorry to tell oh, you. Oh, are they not included? They're not included. That's not furniture. <laughs> but look at that beautiful cabinet that is just here to showcase the most beautiful pieces you have and then around the corner for your 
t-shirts that maybe don't look as exquisite as this you can hide them away i i like that that was well thought of you know because you've got your practical clothing that yeah. are not necessarily for display but yeah. then you've got your items that are for special evenings that you're just happy to display your designer bags designer labels designer shoes that's you know this will work perfectly for and i must say the taste of shoes the homeowners have is absolutely right excellent respect oh for sure all blue line as well so the cupboards here are also blue line guys really well done amazing job and now we're stepping into the ensuite the stunning eggshell bar in black and white it's the first time i've seen this i think it really looks very striking yeah very unique indeed and i see you've got the jack and jill basin and all the different um, colognes and fragrances on display there very very nice and stylish and they've used the same stone that we see in the kitchen with the countertops we have a double shower and of course a separate toilet and that's a massive shower hey you can see the space in there mm, no fighting no fighting at all unless you want more than two people then there might be a oh there there might be some conflict but beautiful room i love the feature wall with uh, the tinted mirror with the wood and then i absolutely love also the fact that they've used wallpaper on all of the walls but it's actually different texture wallpaper very very nice so after we finished in the bedroom what do you do in the morning head for the gym or so they say or you should or uh, it depends on your preferences but it can be in a different sequence where you come and work up a sweat here then grab a shower and then get into bed if you like want to gym after work okay well this is a custom made gym area you can see they're even using it often i see gyms that are so pristine you yeah. know they're just a display nobody is in there yeah but they're loving this gym they absolutely using it they seeing the outdoors as well they have this balcony where you can get the fresh air you of course have the air conditioning i love the wallpaper here again you know special gym wallpaper you know nowadays marisha it's all about lifestyle hey you know it's not enough i think to have a place where you just rest your head you want something that works for your lifestyle, your interests, your hobbies, your habits. It just makes your home that much more, you know, special. And I mean, again, if you are in a penthouse somewhere, there would be a gym downstairs. So in line with your penthouse, exactly. ceiling, yeah, you've got your own gym. This is just the cutest playroom, which if the kids outgrow it, turns into a study area. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it can be, it can, it can sort of double as both, I think, as they just progressively get a little bit bigger. You can start uh, getting desks in here. They can do their homework in here. And, uh, you know, the pink finishing as well. Nice detail. It is. And, and it's, it's also textural. So I can imagine having kids here just enjoying even feeling the, the uh, finishes of the cabinetry. And if you put them in there to do their homework, you can peek on them from the staircase without yeah. them knowing and check if they're actually doing homework or good not. idea well spotted yeah <laughs> more wallpaper and again super textural and a different slightly different this is almost like a giraffe finish so cool oh as far as the design yeah yes. but it, it really it just gives a, a sophisticated warm feel mm. then it feels like a home that you actually live in and it's gray but not a cold gray not a cold cold gray at all Aha. Uh -huh. I would guess this is the little girl's room, but I could be wrong, but I love this room. I would have a daughter growing up in a room like this. From this gold, uh, gold touched wallpaper, very sophisticated, not kiddy at all, but very soft. Yeah, it's definitely a room where a little person can grow up in, so it can sort of evolve. It's not overly babyish. And even if it is for now, it can definitely mm -hmm. evolve, uh, you know, based on the choice of finishes that were used. I mean, they've done some wall cladding here, a touch of the wood that we've seen elsewhere, but now they've brought in the colors because it is a kiddie room. It is, yeah. We saw this kind of feeling in the playroom, which can also double as a study, the one we spoke of. So mm -hmm. the consistency uh, really, really comes through. The cupboards, super matte, 
very soft to the touch and we have a full on suite here and of course we have the air cons and the sound that we spoke about and it's all automated <gasps> I didn't realize the sound continues in here as well. So you can Everywhere. play all the little sounds to help them sleep, get comfortable. Yes. Genius. And just check out the bathroom. You have the marble tiles on the one side, then you have a 3D effect tile, which is a feature tile on um, a, alongside the bath. So it's a different bathroom from the rest that we've seen. Each bathroom is unique, but again, it's, um, uh, it flows with the rest. just love the scent in this house. We totally need to steal a bottle of the air scent. I must find out what it is they use because as you say, it really smells lovely throughout the entire property. So we, now we've stepped into the pyjama lounge. So we've done one, two lounges downstairs, entertainment room. This is now pretty much the fourth entertainment room. They've got a built-in coffee station there. I, Definitely want to see a coffee machine there, maybe something else. I would also put a, a little mini bar over there. <laughs> you know, sometimes if you put the little ones to sleep and you think to yourself, just a little nightcap while I watch something on TV. Oh, I would love <laughs> that. I would love that. More very slick and modern cupboards here with the mirror, another fireplace. Now that's a nice touch. Gorgeous. That's a nice touch. I realize they, they really like their fireplaces because how many have we seen now? We've seen three. Three fireplaces. Yeah, yeah. and when they wow. turned on, I promise you, this house is as warm as can be. So it's really gorgeous. And on top of it, we have the air conditioning throughout. Oh, of course. And this house That's has not solar and it has a generator, so no issues. And now the last bedroom, bedroom number four also en suite, also with a unique and different bathroom, full bathroom, and then an absolutely stunning wallpaper. Oh, that's nice. Again, different, the sage and the, I think this is called burnt rose or ash, rose ash. Oh, right. Mm. And that backlighting there in the cupboards, Even that in the is very bedroom, nice. Sorry? Even in the kiddies bed, that is very nice. That's true. I didn't even think about it. And you kind of appreciate this more as the light is going down. So you start seeing where it's all lit, the attention to detail. It really, really is so elegant. Stunning. And that balcony from here, it runs all the way along the house. Ah, nice. So your little kitty can come and visit you by the yes. balcony. Or just enjoy the sunset from here as well. And you know, detail like that, really connects a property because sometimes if it's big it can be very disconnected and impersonal mm. you know where somebody stays on their side of the house then yeah. another one their side of the house yeah. but something like this a little detail like this really connects it and reminds you that it's all one one property it actually again speaks to the thought process of the architects. for sure yeah yeah very very clever and from here, you can even see the Mahalis Mountains in the background, which is one of the uh, features of Copper Leaf Golf Estate, that you do have the mountains, which you don't find easily in Houting. Yeah. There's the bathroom. Is it true? Again, that marble continues. Nice, massive bath for a little person. Yeah. Hey, but they'll grow into it. Yeah, they must. They must stay with you for as long as you can keep them. Exactly. Right? No, you're 100% right. And then we've got a fifth bedroom or currently we have four bedrooms because they didn't need a fifth bedroom, but they've designed the most magnificent cinema room. Oh, lovely. Now this is what I'm talking about, Marisha. Woo, I could done? definitely do this. Hey, and listen. And your there, I'll bring you popcorn. Oof, and just a, a drink and you can actually leave me here, hey? And the good news is you've got an ensuite bathroom, so there's no, you don't even need to run anyway. You yeah. have your popcorn, your drinks and you enjoy the view. This is so stunning and I see you've got the beanbags as well for the little ones, you know, yeah. so they can sit here and be comfortable as well. And you can really relax. And I feel like you could sit comfortably, I think, uh, 
eight people in here if you want so I you can reckon. host the viewing yes i reckon especially yeah. if your kids want to invite their friends yes but i mean few they've done full soundproofing ceilings walls the sound here the same sound throughout the house is bnc so top of the range sound system and you can actually i think you can hear that the sound here is going to be the acoustic is going to be amazing yeah you can definitely tell the acoustic so the room has definitely been well treated so yeah. from a sound point of view you can imagine it's such an immersive experience and a nice big screen as well so watching a movie in here is definitely going to be lots of fun or i'd watch luxury homes johannesburg to be honest is that what you would do? yes of course i would go for idol oh would you yes <laughs> there is the end of our tour what have you thought so far my thoughts are it's so sophisticated even in the fun playful rooms the theme of elegance and sophistication mm -hmm. really remains you know all the detail how it's really been thought of the artwork that comes with the property the furniture that comes with the property you get so much by investing in this luxury home not just the home, but you really, really get a lot more and you really, really score. Yeah, I thought about it and people sometimes say, well, what if the furniture is not to my taste? But here, because they've done a, such a sophisticated job and it's the furniture is actually low-key. Nothing is screaming at you. There's nothing offensive about the colors, the finishes, the shapes that I think it just suits the home to perfection. Not only that, uh, Marusha, you know, whenever you have ample room and ample space, mm -hmm. instinctively, you want to just fill and put another piece yeah. and another piece. But this is so, so understated. It's so classy. Mm -hmm. You can tell they've got nothing to prove. Yeah. You know, uh, they just wanted a nice, comfortable, elegant, timeless place. Mm -hmm. And they've achieved that right here. I think so, and I think it's absolutely it's a great idea that they're selling it with the furniture as well as the artwork. It's a definite bargain, so I would definitely buy it if I could afford it. <laughs> Let's go, I'm going to offer in the car. Guys, 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 what do you think? Any questions you have, make sure to reach out. Marusha's details, email, phone number are below. If not, just leave a comment and we'll get back to you and we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching this SPE flagship in Copperleaf. Golf Estate with exquisite finishes. Have an awesome afternoon.